then talk to this to this guy here. Hey sir, how you doing? I don't know. I, I don't know you, you know me, my name is Willis Provost Card, you probably know me. How are you? How are you? I'm Happy good. New Year, Merry Christmas. I don't celebrate that shit bro, but that's okay. cool. Thank you for asking, you know. Okay. Uh, I gave up on the worldly stuff a long time ago, but um, uh, cause those things do make us feel better, you know, as humans, you know, we try to do that stuff, but at the same time, it's not really getting us anywhere as a society. Um, yesterday I had to play some complaints. Um, I want to show you all this. Uh, these are some, uh, I just want to let you know what's going on. Okay. okay? And I'll let the county know what's going on, okay. you know, but, uh, I had to, I, I, I placed a, uh, uh, Freedom of Information Act request. This is the copies. This is, I asked for a, she had me a copy in the color I wanted a black and white. So you emailed those to the office or whatever? Uh, I, I gave them to, uh, my nearest county official, which is Renee Martin. Okay. And then, uh, she, uh, should be taking care of that okay. part. Uh, I got some other stuff here, but, um, where's the, uh, oh, here's the complaint I had to file against Mr. Basinger. Um, Complain about uh, Knight County agent employee Jim Basinger over his consistent uh, and ongoing harassment, intimidation, and official oppression acted upon uh, m myself, Cheryl Wells Post Guard, okay? Okay. Um, uh, but uh, the, the, the basis of this complaint is that uh, uh, since 2015, even uh, or even prior, this has been ongoing, right? Okay. Uh, but, uh, he comes up here in 2015. Uh, he was running down here at the county yard. There's a street sweeper, okay. and the city of Gavs bought that thing back in the 90s. Had some uh, city workers running it. Okay. Well, it has no uh, guards to stop the rocks from getting flicked on people's cars. So there was rocks being flicked on people's cars as they drove the street sweeper by. So uh, a couple of people complained, right. and then it was a city at that time. The county said, "Hey, you guys are gonna have to park that machine." You know what I mean? So this, yeah. the county makes the city park the machine and this machine's still sit, sitting in here in the county yard down here. Uh, so uh, Jim Basinger gets it out in 2015 and started running it around town. And okay. uh, I go out one morning, I hear this loud thing uh, and I go out, I open up the door and I see Jim Basinger out there going like this, lining up the front of the street sweeper with my sister's van right with the back of my sister's van and then he gets in it and starts going past street sweeping like seemingly street sweeping and all of a sudden you hear nothing but tink 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 you know what i mean so i i i followed him around town protesting the machine i said park this fucking machine it's already been said to park uh the county already told the town of gas or the city of gas to park this machine uh blah 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 and then um so uh, he got with Jeff Stark at the time and tried to tell uh, the county that um, Not that I was protesting, but that I was harassing you see what I'm saying okay. uh, but the That's all well to do and everything but I have the right to protest for one and then they were government officials So boom 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 and uh, nothing ever came of that because of the fact right okay. and so the thing is is uh, uh, Come a week later uh, he was told to park the machine again, right? Okay. Come a week later, he gets in the machine, brings it up here and parks it like right here in the road and I had the video of it, right? Okay. And he gets out. Uh, when I was protesting him, I said, dude, you don't have to use that machine for this town. You could use a, a broom, you know? I, I even told him I would come and help him use the broom, right? And then he comes up here, parks the machine right here and then gets out with his broom and starts pushing the broom on the corner over there. And uh, so I grabbed my camera and I went out and initiated a contact with him. I initiated a conversation where I was asking him some questions, right? And some of the questions he uh, denied that probably he shouldn't have denied and everything else because they were about the skate park over there and about his involvement with the skate park. He denied involvement with it, even though the Gavs communicator says if you want to volunteer to help uh, build the skate park, you would uh, contact Jim Basinger, right? Yeah. Well, uh, that day he tells me, when are you going to clean your yard? And I said, uh, these are kids' toys here. They might not look very, like, good to you and everything, but the kids still like them. This was back when my sister and my mom were living in the house. I was living over here at Jim Pickrell's. Right. Okay? 
And uh, I said, you know, these are kids' toys uh, and everything. And he said, oh, uh, trash and everything, right? But this is back in 2015. So um, with all that uh, harassment, county harassment, me and my family moved out of this town, right? Okay. In uh, 2018, I moved back. And uh, I started cleaning up this and that, taking it down to the dump that the Ray Dumar was providing for the town. Right. And uh, all of a sudden, uh, my neighbor here, he had to go dump some trash. And I had a load of trash on my truck to go dump. So I said, oh, I'll meet you down there. I thought he was borrowing the keys from uh, Ray Dumar. Uh, turns out Jim Basinger's down there at the, uh, at the uh, dump. And I, I, say, I tell my friend Troy, I say, no, I can't, I can't do this today. Uh, I'm, not, I'm not dumping uh, here with him being here. I don't want to have anything to do with this guy. Right. And the Jim Basinger goes, oh, Willis, it's okay, man. I'm not going to do nothing to you. I don't even have the power to do anything to you. I don't, nothing's going to happen. Just come and dump your stuff. And Troy, come on, Willis, come dump your stuff. Okay, fine. So then I, 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 I agreed. I said, okay come dump my stuff and I, I we they helped me take the stuff out of my truck I uh, uh, I attempted to help them take the stuff out of their truck but they didn't want help right next all of a sudden uh, we dump our stuff that was the last time I ever got to dump trash down there next time I go to dump trash down there I go to borrow the keys from Ray Dumar and Ray Dumar says uh, county says that the uh, dump is closed okay well yesterday Jim Basinger's up here helping put this. Is there no regular county dump or? No, there is no regular county dump, but there should be, you know. Um, Where have people been going all this time, all these years? Like for me, I've been keeping a lot of stuff that I need to get rid of in my house. You see, so I'm, I, I'm, I'm, I'm at the at the same time. This Jim Basinger is giving me complaints about, uh, giving me, giving me uh, flack about my yard. What's What's the thing that's at the end of 361? What is that? Is that Mina or Looney? Uh, the end, the top of 361 over here. Oh, that's Mina down here. Mina. Okay, okay. yes, that's Mina. I'm just Mina. wondering, is that the closest thing there is? It's. Uh, oh, you mean that little like trash yard between I Mina have and no Looney? Idea if they have a dump or not. I'm I, just I mean either. The local. The I know more about north than south. Thing you know, is. I know more about north and south, so I wouldn't be able to tell you that. You know, okay. uh, but the thing is about it is, is that uh, I um. He's giving me tra he's giving me crap about uh, my yard, and he, him and his wife been uh, they 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 talked Jeff Stark into um, going ticketing people about their yards when there wasn't even ordinance against people's yards. So then Jeff Stark got in trouble for it, and then uh, blah blah blah. You know what I mean? Yeah. Uh, so basically, him and his wife lead even the local deputy into getting in trouble for it. You know, not that Jeff Stark wasn't going to get in trouble anyways because the way he polices. But uh, the thing about it is, is that. Um, uh all i'm saying is is that they sit there and give me stuff about my yard and then i'm sitting there showing efforts and then they shit can my effort and then here he is up here uh blah 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 and they loaded a they loaded a refrigerator on the truck yesterday and uh took it down to the dump and dumped it okay okay so is it private property that's belongs yes it to was Dumar, private though? property that belongs to dumar and then uh what happened was uh jim basinger uh took it upon himself to go down there uh if you wanted to go and dump your stuff down there you had to go and ask Julia dumar if you could right? right and then if you could he would allow you the keys right? right well that's what jim basinger did one day but instead of taking the keys back uh I got Jim Basinger on this video yesterday dangling him like this, like, uh -huh, look who's got him and I got him and nobody else got him and look what I can do with them. That's what he was doing. So I call official oppression. He's a county uh, employee uh, choosing who can dump and who can't dump at somebody's private property and then acting like blah, blah, blah. So he's going to say, it's I can't dump down there. Not being antagonistic you know what I mean yeah, it was a breach of the peace you know what I mean when, yeah. when I'm when I'm when I'm trying you to remain as peaceful really complain about what's done on somebody's private, private property. property yeah but the only thing and I can complain about sir and that's what Renee was saying is yeah but that's private and I said no 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 he's not private well, no it's the attitude it's the it's the behavior yeah it is the behavior and it's the behavior of a, a of a public official which is Jim Basinger which right. is an employee of the county sure. 
you know and yeah, of course you and so that. so even if he was on his days off he's still I'm gonna he, have a drink of my no problem i'll sir you know i'll step back for you so you can no worries i just <laughs> eating in front of people you know usually like i'm sorry i'm eating i'm hungry <laughs> yeah dry as hell out here. yeah it is and i live on coffee keeps me alive you know i'm a poor guy you know i might not have much okay and people might talk shit about me but i really do attempt to be the most peaceful person I can be. I really do attempt to uh, help my neighbor, you know what I mean? And uh, I'm not really out here with intents to hurt nobody. Right. Problems come to me, I attempt to handle them and in the less way as possible, you know what I mean? I don't believe in authority, okay? Because author if you believe you have authority over me, then you must think I'm your slave. Okay, and slavery was outlawed a long time ago. I am you know, authority by the Constitution of the United States to yeah. enforce the laws of yeah. The but the, but that but that but that but that, but that same authority has very uh, the authority. If the authority was right here, the the bounds are up here. You know, you have to work within your bounds. Yeah, but be, yeah. Plus plus uh, two six three five point one zero one basic obligation of public service, right. where I have to remain lawful you have to not only remain lawful but you also have to remain ethical that's, that's awesome. where that's where i have to. that's yeah. where my rights supersede yours not necessarily that you have yeah, no I rights think anybody's rights supersedes anybody's rights it's a well, matter i think what you're talking about is acting what i'm talking about is the honor and the oh, official yeah. capacity sure. with you know w when you uh give an oath to me um, being a cop doesn't mean that i don't have the same constitutional rights that you have yeah do. you you do have the same constitutional rights as me that's a given but what i'm talking about is with you, you have the rights but you also have the obligations so uh when you when when you are see when, when when i'm seeking my rights you're not supposed to come up with some kind of nilly-willy thing for your agent or agency that says, oh, well, you know, well, this is what you can't happen here. Uh, you're supposed to be um, showing honest effort to um, uh, working for me more than working against me. And that, that, that's what I'm talking about. I'm not saying you, that cops don't have rights. I'm saying they have uh, certain duties that supersede. Like, I'm not even, I never even swore an oath. I'm not an official or nothing. But if I see somebody about to get shot right here, I see the gunman over there, I'm going to die. You know what I mean? To either take the um, person that's about to get shot down or get shot myself. You see what I'm saying? Uh, but when the officials give this oath to uphold the rights of the people, then they uh, take on certain obligations to put themselves before that of their own rights. You know, it's an honorable thing. It's, it's what makes the, on it's the honorable part about okay. being a law enforcement officer is right. that you choose that you signed your name down and you agreed to all the terms of employment and you said, you know what, I can set a certain amount of my rights aside uh, in order to uphold I, I, these guys' rights. I don't rights. put my rights aside ever. I'll yeah. tell you that right now. I don't put my rights aside, Yeah. but I put myself in harm's way on behalf of others. Yeah, that's awesome. That's an honorable thing. Yeah. You know, you, you just got to um, remember uh, about, you know, never seek pr private gain. You know, in your employ not. during your employment, or even on the like what, what like what this guy is doing is seeking private gain. He thinks that he's going to be the county guy around here, and he's going to also use the uh, private dump, and he's going to uh, not only use the private dump but control it and make other people not be able to use it. And when, when he wants them to use it, he he can. What's Dumar got to that, say? That that done breached my fucking peace, man. What's frankly Dumar got to say about this? I mean, it's his property. At the end of the day, he's the one who has the real. Over yeah, uh, yeah, you know the thing. The funny thing is, is uh, there was some. There was a younger man here. Uh, he was willing to uh, fix up Dumar's uh, backhoe and uh, run the dump for Dumar and uh, take care of it. You know, but this Jim Basinger told uh, the younger man, "No, don't fix Jim's uh, uh, or uh, Dumar's uh, backhoe. Uh, I'm taking care of the dump." You see what I'm saying? Yeah. So. Uh, this thing comes down to the wants and needs of Jim Basinger over that of the wants and needs of the people that actually have wants and needs. <laughs> Frankly, you know, I don't know, know any other better w w w way to put that, you know what I mean? Other than that, you know. So, yeah, so you filed a complaint against him? 
you're just making me aware of it as well. Yeah, I want. Yeah. I seen you in town today, mm -hmm. so I'm 